Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Kate McLean and I'm the Senior Director of Clinical Product Strategy for Roe. And today we're gonna to play a game called What's Up Doc? And I'm gonna be answering real questions from our Roman community. Question number one. Oh, so somebody would like to know, can my penis shrink? And so the truth is that Sometimes the penis can get smaller, and that's usually a temporary reaction to something like exposure to cold or to feeling anxious. And sometimes the penis can get a little bit smaller as people age, but overall, penises don't really shrink permanently. That's not something that you need to worry about. All right. So, can erectile dysfunction be temporary? Well, the answer to that is yes. So erectile dysfunction can be due to either psychological causes, and sometimes psychological causes can be temporary. Somebody could be experiencing a stressor, or you know they could be going through a rough patch in their relationship, and both of those things can cause temporary erectile dysfunction. If the situation improves, many times the erectile dysfunction will improve. Same goes for medical causes of erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction can be caused by things like high blood pressure, diabetes, other medical problems. And sometimes when those medical problems are better controlled, the erectile dysfunction will also improve. So the next question is, can any of these ED medications be used for fun? And the truth is that there are people who take ED medications recreationally. Many experts, however, don't recommend doing that. And the reason for that is that there have been some studies that show that if you have normal erectile function, these medications aren't really gonna make a big difference for you. Meaning, you know, you might notice a placebo effect. Like if you believe your erection is gonna last longer, maybe it will last longer and you'll have more fun. But there are also some risks to taking any medication. Can my partner tell if I've taken ED medication? So the answer to that is not necessarily. Now there are a couple of kinds of ED medications. Sildenafil is one type of ED medication that you take about an hour before sexual activity. And so as long as you've planned that such that your partner's not gonna actually see you taking the medication, they may not know. Now, sildenafil can cause flushing, and perhaps your partner would notice that you looked flushed in the face, but that also happens with sexual activity, so it's probably not gonna give you away. There's another class of medications, though, that people can use that last longer. So tadalafil can last for up to 36 hours. Some people take it daily, so they can be spontaneously ready for sexual activity whenever it comes up. Um, and other people also use it on demand, like sildenafil. But if you've, of course, used it on a daily basis, then you may be taking the medication many hours before you're initiating sexual activity. And so that might be more stealth mode. Um, but what I will tell you is that I recommend that you communicate with your partner about what's happening because that's gonna make your life easier, it's gonna make their life easier, and it's gonna strengthen your partnership. Can I drink alcohol when I take ED medications? And unfortunately, we don't recommend that. And that's for a couple of reasons. So first is that alcohol can actually help cause erectile dysfunction. And so when you're trying to treat that with medication, it can make it more likely that medication simply isn't going to work. Second thing is that ED medications can lower blood pressure. And when you also have alcohol in your system, it can make you more likely to faint or to fall. And of course, that can be dangerous. What is a normal amount of semen? So that's a great question. I think many folks wonder that. Anything from one milliliter, which is about a third of a teaspoon, up to a full teaspoon or five milliliters is considered normal. Um, if you have a bit more than that, I think it's probably nothing to worry about. If you think you have less than a third of a teaspoon of semen when you ejaculate, however, that could be a sign of a health issue. So getting that appointment with a row affiliated healthcare provider onto your schedule will be really helpful. What can I do to build confidence in keeping erections longer? Now, 
Certainly, the medications that you may be prescribed by a row healthcare provider could help with that. But there are also other things that you can do. So certainly psychological factors like stress can weigh in on how long your erection lasts. And I think a lot of us have unrealistic expectations, especially because in porn, you see somebody keep an erection for a really long time, and that's just not realistic. Um, most people gain and lose erections multiple times during the course of a normal sexual encounter. That can be psychologically a little bit challenging though. You could lose confidence. And so something that you can do at home when you're on your own is practice gaining and losing erections when you're masturbating. That can give you a sense of control for when that happens when you're with a partner. And so it just makes it easier to not freak out when that happens, when this very normal thing does come up. So that wraps up What's Up Doc. Thank you to everybody who wrote in with your questions. And if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, feel free to throw it in the comments below, or you can hit us up on IG in our stories. Good luck with the rest of your healthcare journey.